In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through permalink settings in Yoast's WordPress SEO plugin. So the first setting that we have available to us is to strip the category base from the category URL. As it mentions here in the brackets, it's usually category that it will cut out. It's up to you if you want to use this. I don't think it's usually worth using because it can cause some problems with permalinks on your website. Uh, so if you do choose to use that, it's best to trial it out and see how it goes. The second option is to enforce a trailing slash on all category and tag URLs. Once again, it's really up to you if you want to use this, but what's most important is that you maintain a consistent approach across your website. The third option is to remove stop words from slugs. This includes words like for, the, and, and so on. It can help to create cleaner URLs by automatically removing those particular words. It's enabled by default, and you can choose to disable it if you'd like. The fourth option we have is the ability to redirect attachment URLs to the post's parent URL. Any media that you upload to your website, such as an image or a video or something else, will actually have its own page, considered to be a post. And what that means is that it lives on the internet under its own link. What this does is it allows you to redirect all of those to the post in which you chose to upload those. Of course this doesn't apply if you just uploaded media directly to the media library editor. It can be useful to enable this, but it's not overly useful either. It can be a great way of helping people find the content that that image or media is otherwise related to. Next, we have the ability to remove the reply to com variable from comment reply links. Now, in WordPress, when you reply to a comment, it actually has a reply to com variable in that link. This means that it's really easy to reply to comments in line so people can see the comment that they are replying to. It'll prevent threaded replies from working if the user is using a browser without JavaScript or has chosen to disable that. However, if you have a very large website with a vast number of comments, it's really handy to use this setting because it can make your site much faster to crawl by search engines. Finally, we have the ability to redirect ugly URLs to clean permalinks. As it mentions, it's not recommended to use this because what it will do is actually make changes to the links that plugins use when generating unique content for your website or if you're changing settings within them. So it's best to leave this unchecked unless you are confident that you know what you're doing and know to look for this setting in the case that problems do occur. Finally, we have the last setting available to us, canonical settings. What this allows us to do is to set canonical links to either HTTP or HTTPS when your blog runs under both. This means that someone coming into your website from a HTTP link can be forced onto the HTTPS link. You can just leave it as default and that's totally okay, but it is something to be aware of. When you're done making changes here, simply click Save Changes. Hopefully that gives you an understanding of the permalink setting within this great plugin. If you have any questions about this functionality, please ask in the comments below.